Welcome to this video which is all about the sorts of questions you might get in your interview about your work experience. So let's start off with you. Answer this question for me. What did you learn from your work experience? Pause the video now and have a go at this question by recording yourself and play it at the end. Okay, so whenever you're answering these questions, there's always one framework that I really recommend. And this framework is STAR. Situation, task, action, result, and reflection. So start off by setting the scene, give some background, which hospital was this work experience in, which placement? What were you doing in the situation where you learnt something? How did you respond? What sorts of things did you observe? What was the ending of the thing you observed? And what, what did you gain from the experience? It's all about reflection. Whenever you reflect, you're more likely you know, to appeal to the interviewer and display the signs of empathy, communication, everything they're really looking for, to be honest. So an example of response. After watching orthopaedic surgery, I was amazed by the manual dexterity of the surgeons whilst conducting a prosthesis. However, I saw the pressures of getting through a list of patients as there were reduced breaks in between operations. So on a scale of one to five, how do you rate this response? I think it scores a three. So it's an average respond and it displays a realistic view of the scenario because it's important to give both positive and negative aspects of your experience because they'll want to be open-minded. It could be, be better, however, if it went through specific examples and was more reflective of the experience. What about this one? After watching orthopaedic surgery, I was amazed by the minor dexterity of the surgeon, as well as the teamwork when working with anaesthetists anesthetist and nurses. This is an unsatisfactory response because it appears too optimistic and suggests that working as a surgeon doesn't come with any difficulties. It's far better to offer a realistic overview of what was seen. So here are some do's and don'ts when it comes to describing work experience. You should give positives and negatives. You know, obviously there are going to be things you encountered which you loved and things you weren't completely happy with. And it's better to be honest because, you know, medicine is one of those professions where it's good to know all sides of, of the kind of scale. And as long as you're really reflective on your experiences, that's the main thing. Really, you should give examples of what you've learned rather than being op overly uh, generic. Also, try not to be overly optimistic and ignore of everything. Don't be like, medicine's amazing. I've never thought anything different about it. There's no flaws. The NHS is perfect. Because everyone knows there are things wrong with the NHS. There are things that, you know, there are, there are downsides to being a doctor. And mentioning these will be show that you're humble and you accept the challenges, but you still want to pursue such a career. Try not to overuse buzzwords such as MDT, empathy, without giving any substance to it. Of course, they're very good words that you can use, but you have to kind of justify why you're using them. And don't just list off the things you've seen, as we saw in the two examples before. Answer this question for me. Can you tell me about a memorable situation you observed and what you learned from it? Pause the video now, record yourself and have a go. So let's look at this example response. One particularly memorable experience was when I was in a liver transplant clinic and the patient I, who came in was non-compliant. I noticed the importance of the consultant communicating the importance of taking immunosuppressant therapy to the patient who was a young girl and how they adapted the situation by displaying empathy. So this actually scores four out of five. So it hits S-T-A-R of the full star range that I talked about at the beginning. So it's always good to take a specific example and focus on the skills the doctors used and how they adapted to the situation. What was the result and what did they do? But they missed out the last R of the star, okay, reflection. They should link back how they found this and what they kind of used from this or they took away from it and how this will aid them as a future medical student. So more do's and don'ts here. So do address the difficulties that come with being a doctor and make sure you show that you understand this, okay? Do give a specific example and do show reflection. And by showing reflection, it will show how you can apply this and really take no, display that you've taken on board what you've seen. Don't display a lack of empathy. Even if the patient was difficult, you might have to consider why it was the case. And don't show that it was a situation you weren't able to handle. 
even if it was very difficult, the last thing they want to see is that you're not capable of handling difficult scenarios. What about this question? What important qualities did you notice from your doctors during the work experience you carried out? Pause the video, record your response and come back to me. So, let's look at an example response. When I sat in on a GP consultation, I noticed how time efficient the doctor was because it only had 10 minutes. I also saw how they were good at communicating to the patient and showed lots of empathy. They were also very organised and adaptable to each patient. You might have thought this is a good response, but it's actually quite poor. It's very vague, unreflective, and not specific enough. They're using lots of buzzwords, just communicating, organised, adaptable, but they don't give any justification for using them. It's also better to focus on maybe one or two qualities and, you know, say why you think they're important and what sort of things were good about them. Yeah? Some more do's and don'ts. You should try and focus on one quality and why you picked it and display it as an example. Consider all other healthcare professions, the physiotherapist, the nutritionist, as well as the patient and doctor. What role did they have in the scenario? Be specific and recognise the trait of the doctor that you saw. Don't list lots of qualities and without giving any reflection or example. And don't be generic and digress from the main question. There's lots of qualities you can mention. Empathy, communication, teamwork, compassion, work ethic, professionalism, knowledge and confidence. Okay? But give some justification as to why you're using these words. Sometimes you might get a curveball question like this as well. What's the reason we want our applicants to do work experience? Pause the video and have a go. So let's look at this response. I believe as potential medical students and doctors, we should be confident that we are making an informed decision about our futures. And after conducting my work experience, I was given an insight into what a career in medicine entails. And I also acknowledge that I have the correct skills required. This is an okay response. It's been answered satisfactorily. They could have been a bit more specific in terms of what they realised in terms of the commitment required. Okay? But obviously you don't have a lot of time, so you need to make sure that you kind of say what you want to say in the time allocated. So, you should appreciate that clinical aspects of medical education will have some overlap with work experience placements. So the things you see on your work experience, the things you do, will be very similar to medical education. For example, we have an 8am ward round and we're always following the doctors round. We don't really do that much apart from following them round and observe. Very similar to work experience. You might get opportunities to draw blood and that sort of thing as well. Do display that you you know what it takes, what a medical career entails. And acknowledge that it's there to help you make an informed decision. Okay? Don't panic. Whenever you're given a curveball question, even if you haven't prepared for it, don't panic. Just, you know, take a moment to pause, think about it, and then answer. Whilst you might think that, you know, three or four seconds of silence is, you know, really awkward, you're really losing time, you're really making a bad impression. It's not. I mean, three seconds of silence can feel like 30 seconds sometimes. Like, honestly, it's not that bad. And don't say work experience is a requirement rather than explaining why they give work experience out. How did your work experience change your views of the NHS or medicine? Have a go. If I'm honest, I expected that a lot of time is wasted in clinics through administration and paperwork. However, digital dictation is an example of allowing doctors to spend more of their time speaking to patients rather than typing on a computer. This is important, as the number of patients doctors have to see on a daily basis is increasing, and so maximum efficiency is paramount. This is a very good response because it's a specific example, given the early presumption and displayed how it was different to what they expected. It's very reflective as well. Some more do's and don'ts. Do take a moment to pause and think. So if you can't think of anything, do tell the interviewer, you know, sorry, I can't think of anything at the moment. Can you, uh, sorry about that. And do elaborate on your answer and always reflect, always, always reflect. And don't feel the need to make a revolutionary comment. You'd have to say, you know, wow, like I thought, the NHS is amazing, um, I feel like I can change the NHS now. It can be something very generic as well, but don't give a generic example, okay? It could be a point that a lot of people make, but don't give a generic example of something you notice. Okay? I hope this video you found useful, and yeah, reflect, reflect, reflect. It's the main thing I take away from this. So after your work experience, maybe note down all the things you saw, and that will really help you. 
Thank you for watching this free tutorial from Medic Mind. To unlock 100 tutorials on topics such as MMI, Oxbridge, NHS structure, work experience, personality, and much more, click here now.